Hello, my name is Bill Keller, and I'm a product engineer in the Tessin Silicon Lifecycle Solutions Group here at Siemens EDA. I'm excited to talk with you today about some new enhancements that will boost your test quality in less time. With HPG Boost, we have targeted improvements in the key areas of test quality and test cost. Also, to help reduce the pattern generation runtime, we have added options that make distribution even more scalable. In this first section, I'll cover the enhancements targeted at test quality and test cost. We have added advanced capabilities to HPG that improve test coverage and reduce pattern count. Benchmark results have shown improvements across the majority of design types. To make it easy, these enhancements have been incorporated within the Create Patterns command. In the 2021.4 release, the default will be changing to the new Medium option for the Coverage Effort switch. This option has been found to provide the best results for most designs. To get the better coverage and smaller pattern count, runtimes are expected to increase. To offset this, the low option can be used to shorten runtime with a potential for a small coverage loss and or pattern count increase. For designs that have a large number of aborted faults, we added additional abort reduction enhancements to the high switch. We recommend using this switch in a top-up flow as the runtime increase can be substantial. What we have found when running with medium is a whopping 23% pattern reduction on average when compared to the 2021.3 release at the same coverage. When comparing to the maximum coverage, we still see an average of 4.6% fewer patterns. To compare coverage, we look at the detection of faults that weren't detected with 2021.3. And here we see an average of 7.6% more faults detected. In this next section, I'll be talking about the enhancements that are targeted at improving throughput. For ATPG, it has always been a trade-off between test quality, test cost, and how long it takes to complete the pattern generation. In recognizing this, we have added additional flexibility in optimizing the ATPG run. We will continue to focus on achieving the best results with the default option. In addition, we have added two new options that will give increased runtime scalability across more hosts. During early coverage optimization, the goal is to see what coverage is possible and to identify any coverage limiters. For this, you don't want to be sitting around waiting for pattern generation. To accomplish this, we created the new optimized secondary switch. The runtime option focuses on the completion of pattern generation as fast as possible at the expense of pattern count. We added the balanced option for those situations where scalability is still critical, but the pattern count increase has to be minimized. With either of these options, we have seen a minimal coverage impact as compared with the pattern count option. With the runtime and balanced options, we recommend running with eight threads on each host, including the primary, to maximize the runtime benefits. In benchmarks, the balanced option has shown an average of 2.1x going up to 4.5x improvement in runtime, and an average of 7.8x going up to 15.1x with the runtime option when using eight hosts. To show the scalability even further, we saw upwards of 30x for the runtime option when using 20 hosts. In summary, we are excited to bring these enhancements that will help you improve your test quality in less time. These enhancements are included in Test Compress and FastScan with general release 
in the 2021.4 release. For more information, check out our website for the HPG Boost fact sheet.